their hands unto the Lord. I appreciate not having paws or claws today, Lord. I have hands made like yours. I wouldn't have to wonder how you look. Well, you said that you made man, not woman, but man in the image and after your likeness. So every time I look at a normal man, I know what you look like. And I give you the glory. Hey. Brooklyn, this morning, in the mighty, mighty Brooklyn, understand that more of the Jews are here than in Israel. And that makes it a peculiarly, naturally blessed country. For you promised unconditionally, Abraham, that you would bless him and make him a blessing. And I thank you, Lord, for being in this Brooklyn, New York, where your peculiarly blessed people are very numerous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And oh Jesus. Would you say oh Jesus? Your name, your name cast the devil out. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. heard the servant Mason called Jesus one day until out of it came Jesus 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 would you say Jesus 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 in times of distress and times of persecution in times when the devil is raging but greater is he that is in us and he that is in the world we give you the glory. 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 Oh God, today. Oh God, today. As your servant said, as we came up the steps of his house, I thought you said to me, but I told you to come to New York and I was about to go to Connecticut. Banjalas. But you make us to know that you're God. You make us to know that you're God. You make us to know that you are God. And we thank you because your name is Counselor. Your name is Everlasting Father. And we give you the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Mm. The home of my peculiarly blessed people, and now are ye the sons of Abraham and the daughters of Sarah, for by grace through faith are you saved. Thank you. Well, I thank you, Lord. I thank you today. I thank you. But we are the children of faith. That's the only way we got to your Jesus, the G Jesus. We only got to him by faith through faith. And so I thank you. And now we have an inheritance. We have an inheritance. My father is rich. Your servant, Lord, so I've heard. And Sister Washington hasn't said too much. But there's something about a school. I want you to lift up these holy hands and say a school. To be called by your name, hey, where your doctrines and interpretations and revelations shall be known to our children while they're young. A school, which is what he's saying, a school. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A school. Mm. You know the locale. You've got the carpenters. All the bricks and stones belong to you. Yeah. There is a tree that has ever grown that you didn't make. Right. You're the tree maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. And you come. I thought you said to me, in Dayton, Ohio, where I now live, I thought you said New York. That's why we're here. I stand before thee and my people. I didn't even know they were going to have a workers meeting. I'm just out of Atlanta, Georgia. But I know that you know. Oh. We're coming in name. We have come in the name of the Lord God of hosts. And we give you the glory today. Hand touch these bodies. You've got some hands and you can touch us today. Yes, Lord. 
Jasno. 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 We find the tormenting devil in Jesus' name. In the name that casts all devils out. We command you to go. Belly trouble and lung trouble and, and even kidney trouble and back trouble and arm trouble and leg trouble. Heart trouble and arm trouble. We are the last people. And with his stripes we are healed. With his stripes we are healed. With his stripes we are healed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much and thank you very much. Oh God. of Manhattan, but I don't live in these parts, but whomsoever these leaders of these five boroughs are, put your hands on their minds today, for you command that we pray for those in authority, and you command that we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Abraham begot Ishmael as much as he did Isaac. I know that you blessed Isaac, yes, but oh God, you said pray for men everywhere. Yea. Mm. Look at Ishmael's two boys. Look at the struggle they're in. Oh God. Come on, come on. Oh God. Oh God. Pity us. Pity us. Let the pity of God be the pity that we have today. Let the mind of God be my mind today. And let the will of God be my will today. And let the hallelujah of God be my hallelujah today. And we'll bless your name. As the elder bishop said, God, many years ago, uh, much more than even 50, you saved me in a little storefront on Fifth Avenue. And I'm a Memphis child. But who knows the mind of God? You brought me here. And I was going to Europe to study music more, but you started us. But you stopped me. And you gave me inheritance. Among those that are sanctified. And I have only you to glorify. Hallelujah. I have only you to magnify. Thank God for salvation. Thank God for salvation. Come on, come on. Thank God for salvation. Thank God for His saving grace and His keeping power on day and night, too. Yes, Lord. Your hands be upon me. I take your deacon to trust you because you know I could not know you over there. Put your hands on these men today. Mm. Be now God to accept them in righteousness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Mm. He said, let's 
love right now. The little lady there in white, if you can but believe in today, all things are possible. So may God know me. I'm English, I know it's nothing. But what they said to me, no thing shall be impossible. But we're God. We're God. We're God. We're God. We're God. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. So you claim it today. You have been hindered and you have been kind of stopped. You've been discouraged, but show us. Because he lives, you shall live also. And to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Huh? To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, brother pastor, to the most beloved Elder Bishop Washington, a man who's most unusual in many ways, and certainly to the dear Elder Bishop uh, Westbrooks, who comes from a country that I've never even seen him with my flesh eyes. You did understand the state of Washington, not just Washington, D.C. down the road here. So they've come from along with dear sister group of West folks and certainly to our dear sister Gwendolyn, whom I taught in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, well, you looked at me funny. You know. I was the youngest one when I was teaching her. So the Lord's been good to us. Yeah. The people of the Lord, they preach the name of Jesus. They preach the name of Jesus. The old timer, Bishop Washington and Bishop Westbrook, Bishop Roberts, Chicago, would say to the folks, Peace. They would retire back, Peace be among So can I say peace to you today? And you said, Peace be among Come on, come on. Bishop Mason always said, whatever God had, he had plenty of it. We are going into the word of the Lord that's able to shake you up, take you up, wake you up, beat you up. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. If I would hold up this handkerchief in English, there's nothing for you to say that this is a lady handkerchief. If you've never seen a normal man with a handkerchief that size. But this is the word of the Lord. Hammer. I heard the Holy Ghost say one day, nail some God in me. Since you are hammer, nail some God in me. A light. Oh, now this is what the word of the Lord. There's anything you can call this other than a lady's handkerchief. Now, I'm not smart. I don't know what Webster would say, but I'm Webster the dictionary writer. But listen, the word of God, we are complete in it. And I thought, he said, and say to this people this morning, wait. Not W-E-I-G-H-T, but W-A-I-T. Come on. W-A-I-T. Wait. Wait. Now I'm going to tell you what Webster says wait is. Webster, the, the dictionary king, I guess he's one of the kings. To wait means to remain at your present post until further instructions. But you know, when the Lord tells some of us to wait, Sister Westbrooks, we go home and close at the front door, the side, and the back. When the pastor or someone comes, what are you doing at home, Sister Susu? I'm waiting on you go. There's no such thing as being in a total state of inactivity and being and expecting nothing and in readiness for nothing and then say that you're waiting. Yep. To wait, and first I stuck on the definition. To give a friend instruction to remain at your present post. Will you say that? Yeah. Well, then that means you can't go home and get under the bed, so to speak, and 
nail all the windows down and just become a, 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 a isolated mess. Mmm. Don't let the devil tell you these strange, unbiblical things. We are waiting on the Lord and yet we are in much activity. We are saying right where he told us when he said, wait. Lord, I'm going to stay right there. I'm going to continue my activities until you get further instructions from the Lord. Say, from the Lord. Oh. So I'm going to wait. Psalms 27, yes, 27. And it's the 14th verse says, wait until I get retired, Sister Lucy. Wait until all my kids get out of college. Wait until I reach 62 or 65. Wait on the Lord. Come on, wait on the Lord. Be a good courage. And while you're waiting on it, don't get so long-eyed and sour-faced. For the joy of the Lord, you get some joy in it, he'll give you some strength to wait on it. And he shall strengthen thine heart. And for the sake of emphasis, you know when your mom and my dad told you to do two or three things, and then she repeated those things at Bishop Westbrook, she truly meant you to do them. So then he says, I'm not playing, so to speak. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And the enemy of your soul will say, People of the Lord, well, what am I waiting on and why you got me in the wait? Sister so and so, they've gone on and on and on. And they have got this and that materialistically and maybe they're dancing on one and two legs in the church. But behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. And to hide, God, but you told me to wait. And I heard the Holy Ghost say one day in prayer, and I thank you for the wait. And I thank you for the wait. I thank you for the wait. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. But why must I wait? You know the God that can speak. You can come in your room. He doesn't have to have any doors or windows open. That God says, maybe you're not ready for that that I have for you. Maybe you are not ready. You, you, it's the time, but it is the fullness of time. Did anybody get that? Yeah. That's what he told me something the other day. He said it's time, but it's not the fullness of time. I said, oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. We only must be wait, because we adventure may not be ready for what the Lord has for us. Hmm. Do you think that even many characters in the Bible, they had to experience long a tarry before the Lord, wait on the Lord. Even the man that wrote this today had much waiting experience. Amen. He got real smart, Pastor Washington, and gathered up a lot of nails and gold, and as long as I'm in the Bible, say, man, I'm talking about David. He thought, for adventure, he was going to build the Lord a temple. God said, no, 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 David. I don't want any bloody hands to build my temple. But I promise you that I'll let your son build it. He's yet always a good, a righteous, and just God. But just wait on it. You may think that you are ready. And the Lord lets you get to the certain position and you're such a mess. You're so ungraceful. You don't know how to handle it. And you break your own neck. Amen. 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 I don't care how much God uses anybody who just God say we call him a novice. There's a waiting time. From the time Jesus was 12 until he's 30. Don't you come and tell me, Sister West, what you dreamed he was doing when he was 25. 
Amen. Amen. Jesus had a tarry. Well, he's the way to Bishop Mason get some God sense. Come on. Get some God sense. He, he kind of puts you aside after Moses. And Bible, of course, I'm talking about. Got this educated in all the sciences and skills of Egypt. And when he finished Pastor Westbrook's, he was a killer. The young people. Don't let your education be anything uh, but an enhancement to God. It is not God. These, uh, these educational facts that you acquire in school, it's only for the natural man and mind. But God is from everlasting to everlasting. And his book, the Bible, doesn't change. We think I go back today looking for the books that I even taught the music out. They change. But God, <clears throat> He's from everlasting to everlasting. Thou art God. In the beginning, God was. He always has been. There's nothing before him and nothing on the side of him and nothing in the back of him. God always is, is God. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! And this God says, don't you get all rough make some strange testimonies. Didn't get over here last night and I've heard a lot of almost uh, 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 indicting God testimonies. Now I've lived only 150 years, and God hasn't done for me. I, 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 I saw Him. Well, what kind of testimony? I said, Well, if you lived a thousand years, that would just be as a day with me. No flesh has ever lived a thousand years. But He's always the righteous judge. Just come and say, Well, Lord, you haven't blessed me this and that. And peradventure, I must not be ready for that. But I'm going to wait on you. Come on. I'm going to wait on you. Nobody ever got disappointed waiting on the Lord. Did Abraham and Sarah get disappointed when they waited on the Lord? And you talk about he had a chance to really get. Well, you know, anybody can even take your fingers and count. You don't have but one birthday a year. You can certainly keep up with that. I can envision. I, 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 I'm really not too much on imaginary preaching and teaching. But allow me, for this is only normal envisioning. Well, they are seven to seven, and she's seven to uh, or six to eight, or whatever she is. And nothing has happened yet. Well, you know, they were human beings and they were subject to disgust that the God had said and promised concerning you. But they that wait upon you. But Isaiah fixed it up. Said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall, shall, shall give you some new strength. She'll give you a mighty refreshing. Then you want only do that. The bishop, he'll take you off the ground. Because you know, I've been in Texas a lot. Well, listen, Tennessee, I knew that me and mounted up on the little Tennessee donkeys and horses. They couldn't stay on the ground and mount up to you. That's what the Holy Ghost said to me. I was on a close place. One of the dearest friends of my life passed with her uh, diabetes last year. And I had to stay. She'd been in Dayton 45 years. She had her own house. And her sisters lived in some little country town out of Nashville, Tennessee. And the Lord said, but I want you to stay with her and don't leave her. And I said, but God, and you know, I was getting the calls to come out and I, I live by this. You, you understand me. And I, I'm only a gang of dust put together. And being a woman, I'm less than that. I'm just a real. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. I'm just a real. Oh. And the Lord had to speak to the saints of the Most High God. I heard him say, I was at my kitchen sink, and I have a very much fun house. What, my 
so my kitchen is front, and I'm looking out on the street doing some potatoes. And I heard the spirit say to me, Mama! I've had her about five months. And you know, that baby, she eat them three times a day on time. And, and I don't mean that I minded it, for he had commanded it. But I'm flesh, and I was getting very weary. And the Holy Ghost said, and sent his word, and he said, Mama! Mama! Come on out of this bag. Get your feet. Hallelujah. Oh, Mama! I want to give you some eagle wings. I'm not going to give you no shade bird, black bird wings. Mama! Ooh. And I'll give them to you just because you're obedient and waiting and doing what I told you to do. <laughs> Hallelujah! Wait on the Lord! If you wait on them, it will strengthen your faith in them. It will strengthen your courage in the Lord. Uh, David in the Bible. Sure, that is David. Who? I don't know very close to say this, David. Somebody, well, please excuse me. Oh, listen. David said in Psalms 40, Wait, I wait. And I, then I got some patience in it. You know, many of us, for I thought possibly in the month of November, he said this to me. So you know, you've been pretty good waiting, but you ah, your patience. I didn't get a high rating from him and my patience. I said, oh, please. And your tribulation work with patience. <laughs> uh, has to be right, it's a book. <laughs> and I, I didn't say that ugly, I only said it in confirmation. I waited patiently on the Lord. I waited so long until after a while he began to kind of bend my way. He inclined. When anybody inclines, it's kind of a bend. Come on. And I thought I heard him say, when I bend, uh, my ear is closer to you. And you can tell me more things. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, that not only did you tell me to wait patiently on you, and if I did it, that you kind of been, you kind of inclined unto me. Hallelujah. Then your ears are nearer to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just glorify and untie what God's word. You see, the people of the Lord, if you don't get the wisdom of God's word, it's not a fairy tale, and Jacob said, I think I'm a ah. It's not a fairy tale, it's a reality. In him we live. And I in the beginning was what word was with God, and the word was God. God is his word. God is his spirit. St. John tells us the Holy Ghost proceeded from the Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Nobody's got the Holy Ghost, and I know nobody's hung up on Jesus alone. I know, I know you, you passed by that in the church. What you gonna do with all the Old Testament? Well, what, what are you gonna declare that, that Jesus became insane while he was on the cross and began to talk to himself and call himself Father? We believe. We believe that God is. That Jesus is. Yes. And the Holy Ghost is in us. Yes. Hallelujah. We believe. We believe. Yes, Lord. We believe. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And I thank you. Yes. I, I waited on you. You inclined your ear unto me. And what else did he say in that party? After, after I got, maybe I used the expression, after I got the ear of God. You know, as kids, we used to say, in my day, Bishop, you didn't say I want some pink shoes and red shoes. You just said I want some shoes. Come oh, on, I'm not the oldest person in the room. You just said you wanted some shoes. And maybe your mom would pass through with a cake or pie. You know, the ladies in those days were great cake and pie. Hey, mom. And then she wouldn't even look your way. Hey, mom. But it wasn't 
me, they were maybe doing something with the law, or thinking about something else. One night, he maybe while they're sitting around with the Bible or singing or something, he said, but mom, did you, did you ever hear me, you know, Easter's coming and I do need some new shoes? She said, girl, yes, I, I've kind of heard that, but, but now I'm really here. Yeah. So God, when he inclines his ear to you, you find his attention. You wait until you have the attention. Thank you. Oh, wait! Hallelujah! Richard Rush is from Arkansas. Who has he been up here so long? And I happen to know. See, I'm from Memphis. Memphis and Arkansas are pretty close together. But in that section, Elder Bishop, we said they're going to wait until Shiloh goes. Oh, Elder Bishop Bay Westbrook's is Arkansas. In that section, brothers and sisters, the old timers included Sister Gwendolyn and Washington in their prayers. God, we're waiting, and we're going to wait until Shiloh comes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, Lord. The other day, you know, the devil, my Boston aunt, mom's sister, and I was in the clay, it was the same. She used to say that devil is low down. So I'm all alone in the house. I just lost a flesh brother a good month ago. And you know, I don't have a one left. Never had a flesh sister. So you, you see, you see. The devil says, uh-huh. So you're going to wait, eh? Well, and he asked me, he the devil. So what are you waiting on? I said, I'm waiting on wait. <laughs> yeah. The Holy Ghost worried me up. I said, I'm waiting on wait. Then I said, I'm waiting on the law. He likes you. He's an addition devil. He's a daring devil. He doesn't care what the Lord has promised in this book. He'll define it. He said to Jesus, if, if he was son of God. And you know, if, he, if Jesus, what is he going to do to pull you and I? That's God. That's God. Washington, I don't know where it came from. I said, I'm waiting on wait. I'm waiting on wait. And then the wait up of the Lord, he'll give you some eagle wings. Anybody who lives in the city, you can't tell me that you were in Brooklyn this morning and you looked up and saw an eagle flying. Well, if anyone has, eagles don't even dwell. They don't come near cities. Just believe it. They tell me you, you notice the eagle doesn't do like the new jay and, and, and blackbird. He's strong. Just stretch it out. And the wind. And the wind. And the wind. Just carries them on. They get the smell of the wind and they go with the wind. I heard the Lord say, and the wind is symbolic of my spirit. And if you get the smell of me, you follow me. In God, only by following Him. Woo! Thank you. Come on, thank you. Thank you. Mm. 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 Feel something in my feet. What do you do when snow? I'm at, I'm at my spiritual home. Said at the bishop last night. I said I'm home. I, I have a I have a peculiar feeling when I get here. Read well. David was very smart in the law. 
you ever read that, you bring me that Bible. Amen. Amen. It's just all these little children. And I just heard the Holy Ghost say, well, I required when I sent my spirit, the Holy Ghost, back on the time of the Pentecost. I required that they wait, that they tarry. I said, yes, Lord, I just heard that. Uh, that's not up here at all. So we thank God for the wait, even for his spirit, waiting to be filled, mm. waiting that he should come and take us up. But we are weary. We are weary, we are tired. Mm. You are so attuned this morning. Because uh, uh, the way the days when I guess uh, Bishop Luther Clemens was preaching. You see, darling, I go back a long ways. But I remember, uh, well, I guess he was because we were standing back that, there and Brother Ithiel was like, you know, it, it, everybody's brother, so I'm not trying to be disrespectful. The beginning of whatever else you are, brother and sister, if you please, coach it. We call Bishop Mason, Brother Mason, for years. Now, I'm not trying to talk about any kind of disrespect. But getting back to, uh, getting back to what Bishop Ithiel Clemens said, he, he said, uh, you were coming in something, something. He said, you know, Bishop is, is so, is he's so a team. I, I have, I, I, I've lost it, you know, it's been so many years ago. But it is true that this man is so a team. Oh, I think he said something about his antenna is high and he catches his sore team. Yeah. And because like priests like people. Ah, you know, I'm not a woman given to flattery. I, I'm not just to be very simple and very clean. But the Lord God of Jacob, hey, the Lord God who rules the heaven and the earth too, wants to make you a peculiar people. If you will only wait on him and give him to the move of God. His spirit, his spirit is flowing even now. Even now. He said, be thou filled with the Holy Ghost. Be thou refreshed in God. And be thou anointed with the touch of his hand. Be thou come forth in the beauty of his strength. Right now, I think he's saying, let's lay hands upon each other. May I have your hand? Thank you. We lay the shadows Christ. We lay hands upon each other. Said it very sick among you now. You pray for yourself and the usher. It afflicted among you. You pray for yourselves and the sick ones. You call for the elders. Over there in St. Matthew, he said, Hey! That means us, the church. And every one of you, how many of you are members of the church? Look at that, look at that, look at there's nobody going to come down to the altar this today. Listen, they shall lay hands. Yes. We are hand laying down. Yes. They shall lay hands upon the sick. Your body doesn't have to be sick. Your understanding can be sick. Your will may be sick. Your faithfulness to God. You are yet discussing that in Louisiana they taught us this about time. If you are robbing yourself and it's poor financially and it may be in your body, Job's turkey, there's a blessing. God said when you tithe, I've got some windows in heaven that are closed if you don't. For he said he opened them. Oh my God. Hallelujah. He said he opened them. around their discussion, but they shall lay hands upon the sick. Yeah. My mind is sick. Listen, heart trouble, cancer, stroke shall be countered. We thought we heard this years ago. But the next terror, listen to the word, shall be to the minds of boys and girls, and men and women. And if you don't know that's the truth, you must not live in Brooklyn, New York. The mind. So the minds is tormenting, he's pressurizing, he's frustrating our minds. You just have to buck in with this word of God. You have to talk to the devil when you can't say anything. You have to speak to the devil 
and tell him I don't know what to say to you. Don't try to get smart with the devil. He's been here many more years than you have. He's, he's learned all the tricks and manuals. Just say, well, yes, I don't know what to say to you. But I opened my Bible and I looked through my house. And I said, that said the word of the Lord.